I have here the Ohuhu 50 foot expandable garden hose. It comes with uh, obviously the hose, but a sprayer with several different um, uh, several different types of sprays. And it comes with, or at least mine came with two additional of these O-rings. Um, you know, because you got them in the sprayer and you also have them in the nozzle there. But uh, one unique feature about this particular hose, I've got another one that doesn't have this feature, is this turn off valve. You can turn it off from um, while using the hose. And I'll demonstrate that a little bit. But uh, it's a quick look at what's included. I'll hook it up and show you how it operates. I wanted to show you the difference between two brands of hoses that I have. The Ohuhu and a different brand, a competitor. Uh, they're both pretty similar overall, but uh, the outer layer, other than color, they feel the same, they look the same. Um, in terms of the inner hose, I can't tell a difference in thickness or feel. Um, you really can't tell without opening it up, but overall they, uh, they feel really comparable. The brass fittings on it, on the Ohuhu, it's a little bit heavier. That may be due to the control or the shutoff valve, um, but it seems pretty similar. The one feature I really recommend is that shutoff valve. I highly recommend it, and that's why I like using the Neohu better. One feature I really like about this hose is it doesn't kink. I'll tie a knot here and, and demonstrate. I've got the hose valve turned off, but uh, it's just to show you, even if you um, tie it up, it'll still, it'll still operate just fine. Whereas traditional hoses, they would uh, kink up and you, know, you wouldn't get anything out of them. The other nice feature, as I mentioned earlier, this shut off valve. That allows you to um, be able to put your, your nozzle on without turning off the water supply. The other thing that's nice about that is if you lay the hose out in the middle of the yard or wherever, uh, you can turn it off and that way uh, the end of the hose isn't going to you know, go in every which direction. So that's a good couple good features about that. 50 foot hose right now. I'll release the water here and you can see it contract. Sorry, I had to cut away there. The ice cream man came by. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you can see, it contracts nicely. If uh, I have mine next to the front door, so uh, it's nice that it contracts. It's, it's easily stored. I plan to put it in a container with a lid and nobody will even know that the hose is there. Uh, so overall with these hoses, uh, they're really nice. There's a number of good features. They're easy to use and transport. Um, you know, the shutoff valve is a nice uh, added feature. Uh, they're lightweight. Um, the one downside to these hoses is there's not quite as much pressure, water pressure, uh, or water volume, I should say, uh, being released out of the hose compared to a traditional hose. And you know, that's the one downside with all of these. But other than that, uh, you know, there's a lot of upsides to it as well. So I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching.